We have got a brand new superhero promo in NBA Live Mobile with a 105 overall Grandmaster Kawhi Leonard. But can you get him and the other masters such as that 103 overall Wilt Chamberlain completely for free? And what is it going to take to be able to do so? Well, let's take a look at the event itself, which is in the live today section of the game. It's one of the formats that we have had previously. There are a couple of tweaks to the last version which we had, which was giving out KG as that Grandmaster. You've got a bunch of events you need to play through and they are re setting at different times. You want to start off by playing through the events around the outside of the map. These are ones such as the Vision Blitzes, the Position Blitz, XP, Coin Blitz, the Game of the Night event, or of course the League Training Ground event. Each one of these on the very first of the events are going to give you 300 of those points. I mean the first event by, as you can see, this is the first event of the South Division events, and then the next one isn't going to give me those points. So it's only the very first event you need to go ahead and play through. Each one of these are going to cost yourself some stamina, and they are varying in how much stamina they will cost. These ones are going to cost 30 stamina. The XP and Coin Blitz are 40 stamina each. The trade up tokens are 40 stamina over there. Game of the Night event is 50 stamina. And in contrast, the League Training Around event is not going to require any stamina whatsoever for you to go ahead and play through it. But you want to be playing through all of the events around the outside. In total, there are 13 to play through and they are all on an eight hour reset, meaning you can play through all of them three times a day. That is 39 events in total every single day to play through. Now, there are also some promo events to go ahead and play through and these are on a 12 hour reset instead meaning you can play through 10 events in total because there are five every 12 hours and each one of these is only going to cost you 10 stamina to play through now these are also going to give you 300 smash points which are going to be very useful as all of these points that you're getting from every single event you're playing through are going to add up in these milestones over here you'll notice i've gone through a couple already i've got myself a court and a jersey and you'll notice with the court and jersey in that top left hand corner they are giving out a smash point bonus now what i've done once i got both of them is i've gone onto the team i'm using to play through the event and i basically swapped in the court so you can see that crypto arena core giving out that points bonus is now sitting there as my main court and then same thing with the jersey that jersey over there on the left hand side is now equipped to my team so every single time i play through an event with that lineup i will get slightly more points every single time I play through an event. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up at the bottom sort of underneath the reward sections, but every time you play through that event with that lineup, you should be getting that reward. Now, it is important to note every single time you play through, say, a Division Blitz event, this is going to take me to my multi-year team. Now, I've gone ahead and switched the jersey and the court for this multi-year team that I'm using to play through those events, but it's important that you notice that and look at which different teams it's using for those different events, because that is a Division Blitz event, for an example. If I take the XP Blitz, for an example this is using my ultimate lineup and those are two separate lineups and both of them you want to be using that jersey and the court so make sure you got that in mind you're using the jersey and the court for every single event you go ahead and play through because that is going to maximize how many points you're going to get from the event because instead of 300 points per event you'll get slightly more than that there is a 20 percent bonus using both of them because that is a 10 percent bonus using each of them there's a 10 percent bonus on the jersey and a 10 percent bonus on the court so using them will get you a lot more of the actual points themselves as you go through these milestones over here you'll notice you unlock that event token that is the main of promo event over here which you can see over here to unlock that you do need to get up to 1600 points it'll also give you a couple of coins here and there but that is very easy and very quick to be able to get up to that you'll notice you will get yourself some nba cash as well and the higher you get the more and more nba cash you will get you get some masters so you can see the very first master there is the marcus cousins at 96 overall 97 overall d'angelo russell is over there at 8,900 points then you got kevin love at 16,200 points and 99 overall alan iverson at 27,000 points at 41,400 points a 100 overall player and then a 101 overall world be free over there at 59,500 points. Your secondary master is a 103 playstyle select Wilt Chamberlain at 81,900 points. Now, I have no idea what boost he is giving out. If you look at the news tab, it doesn't look like he's giving out a boost, but you never know. He might be giving out some type of boost because also in this news tab, Kawhi Leonard is showing not to have a boost, whereas if you look at him properly, he is giving out a boost. So I have no idea what boost Wilt Chamberlain will be giving out, but he is there as that second master for this promo to get Kawhi Leonard he is going to require 101,000 of the 
the smash points in order to get him at playstyle select. He's giving out that plus six post monster booster team, which might be fairly useful for a couple people's teams. But that's going to be how those points of add up in those milestones. I do think this promo is still fairly useful to get that NBA cash because that is always useful. And of course, the stamina, you get 200 stamina over there. I think it goes up to 500 stamina at that very last stamina milestone over there. So it is useful in getting yourself some extra resources when it comes to the game. In terms of the store, there isn't too much you can do without spending any money whatsoever. In the superhero section, you can see you scroll all the way to the end. There is only a watch ad pack. You can do this five times every single day to get yourself 100 smash points every time you do it. So in total, that's 500 smash points every single day. The rest of the offers are simply you spending money and getting yourself some extra smash points with the biggest offer being right over here at 85,000 smash points. And that is going to cost you a fair bit of money. Of course, you can buy the VIP event pass, which is in the live to date section of the game. Again, it is a slightly different event to all of the other ones in that it is going to give you slightly more points, giving yourself a thousand points every single one of these five events. They are going to cost 75 stamina to play through each one and they are on a 24 hour reset. Again, though, you do have to spend real money in order to unlock this event in the first place, but it is going to definitely help you get through those milestones a little bit further because of course you're getting 1000 points plus a bonus with the jersey in the core that's going to get you a good amount of points every single time you play through that event but again it does cost money if you are willing to spend it over there but let's work out exactly what you're going to be able to get from the promo itself and see if you can go ahead and get yourself that Kawhi Leonard and we'll start off with the promo event itself now it is giving out 300 points whereas last time in that Kevin Garnett event it was giving out 400 points however it's still on that 12 hour reset there are still five events to play through each time round. So that means you're going to get 3000 points per day every single time from this event alone. Then using all of the other live today events, there are 13 in total. You can play through them three times a day because of that eight hour reset. Each one's going to give you 300 points. That gives you a total of 11,700 points just through playing through all of those events every single day. If you combine both of those together, that is 14,700 points from all of the events every single day. Now I'm going to have to include that 20% bonus you're getting from the court and the jersey. Of course, you won't get to use it for every single event because you need to play through some events to actually get them in the milestones over here. But depending on which events you play through and when and when you actually watch your ads and all of that stuff, it is going to be a bit tricky to work out exactly when you'll get that in terms of your progress. So we're just going to have to use that 20% bonus in terms of your entire total of points. So taking that 14,700 points daily, plusing the 20% bonus, you're getting 17,640 points every single day. Then from using that watch ad pack, you're getting an extra 500 points. That's 18,140 points every single day from the store and all of the events. And of course, that 20% bonus. Now, if you look at the main promo that's going on at the moment, the buzzer beta one is got five days left on it. So I'm going to have to assume that we are going to get this promo for five days. It doesn't say anywhere at all how long we are going to get the promo for. Based off of previous versions of this format, it has sort of gone on the same length of time as the main promo has been going on for as well. In the past, that has meant that it's been about seven days, possibly a bit longer. But this time, I am guessing it will be a five day promo. That is just a guess. It could be a little bit longer. If it was a little bit longer, you will get yourself a bit further. But if it is five days, as I'm guessing, you will get 90,700 points in total throughout the promo. That will get yourself enough points to get yourself Will Chamberlain. You won't be able to get this prime pack at the end. If it is a six day format, you'll get 108K plus points over there. So that would get you Kawhi Leonard. Seven day promo, you'd get well over that and easily get Kawhi. However, I do think it will be a five day promo. Again, that is just me making an assumption. You will get some good rewards in terms of NBA cash and stamina, some extra players here or there. I did also double check whether you could quick sell any of the players for some extra points. And I managed to get the first master but unfortunately it is just coins. And in the past, you have been able to quick sell players, but it hasn't been for a huge amount of points. So hopefully I've done all of those calculations correct. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you're going to try and get yourself Kawhi Leonard. Again, it all depends on how long this promo is out for, and it doesn't tell you at all in the news tab or in any of the events at all. But of course, we've got two other promos going on at the moment, a buzzer beater promo as well as a social media stars promo as well. And if you want to go check out how you can get the masters and grandmasters for both of those promos, go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace.